Buddy, I know the quarter isn't over, but I have something very interesting to divulge to you. The 22nd of August, 2019, I received both a Twitter and Facebook message from the same man, uh, Ryan, based out of Ottawa, explaining that he acquired a pistol and thought that I was the granddaughter of Clarence Flewelling. Well, he was right. And the reason why this pistol is significant is because my grandfather's regimental number was on the pistol. So, the short version of this story is, he starts to assimilate all this information, asking if I was a family member of, of Clarence Flewelling. And of course, I found that out on the 23rd, which was the day after he... Um, wrote that message originally and then I finally answered and got the guts about 24 hours later on the 24th of August to say yes. As I read through this information I was shocked but not really. So you're wondering how this is. Well what I knew of my grandfather's um, wartime history was of course all the positive effects that <clears throat> he had on Holland. My grandfather, by the way of his training and everything, helped liberate Holland. And my grandfather went back in 95 and, and a couple of other occasions to celebrate what is the liberation and what it means to the people of Holland. So I knew about the positive effects, and I put that in quotations, the positive effects but when I started to piece the information together about what my grandfather did during the war, it wasn't a surprise, but it was a surprise. With grade seven education, my grandfather enlisted in the war, then went for training for 59 days, had to step back and what ended up, he was in the reserves, and then was reinstated. And his journey took him to Labrador, as in Newfoundland and Labrador, to train for that short period of time. Then his um, kind of, I, I don't know the word in English, it's escaping me, but the parkour, the uh, journey, uh, started in the United Kingdom, France, and he actually landed in France shortly after D-Day. And then somehow ended up migrating to Holland where he was a part of the liberation. And I was traced back to this regimental number and I'm still shocked and surprised that I was traced back. Um, my father and mother were away at the time so I was assimilating information via text message to my dad and my dad was saying, well, yes, I remember certain things. Yes, I remember certain things. And then when I showed him a picture of the pistol, he was only five. Wait, no. Put it a bit. No. He actually technically wasn't born. My father wasn't born till 1950. So it was five years after is what I was trying to say. Five years after the war. Um... My grandfather had the pistol in the house. My father vaguely remembered it. Uh, we believe how it got to Ottawa was it started possibly with someone from the CN, Canadian National, which is the railway company here, or one of a few railway companies here in Canada. So that's how we think it got to Ottawa. Um, I was traced back. And I might as well just say it. My grandfather was a tank mechanic and a tank driver, we believe, as well. Um, I can now fill in the blanks about why my grandfather said nothing about the war. Um, from the day that he stepped foot back into Canada after the war until his death, he was a, obviously a very scarred man. My interactions with my grandfather, sadly, weren't necessarily the most positive, but I learned a lot from him regardless. Um, of course, being 
a woman, I was closer to my grandmothers, and I was lucky enough to have both grandmothers. And my brother, of course, being a male, was closer to my grandfather. And we never knew um, my grandfather, Melanson. He died before we were even thought of. Um, but every year, as a special celebration, we go to both grandparents' graves, and we celebrate Remembrance Day. So it's bittersweet, this Remembrance Day. I'm, it's going to be pretty crazy knowing the information I do based on his regimental number and a pistol. Um, so I'm still working out the details more specifically, kind of what was the liberation of Holland, uh, kind of how it was rooted, um, how the Canadian soldiers got to be a part of it. Um, I'm still kind of hashing that out and still learning a tremendous, a tremendous amount of stuff along the way. So that has been my end of August, beginning of September. And it's been pretty crazy to think how much territory my grandfather took and was a part of so many moments in the war. Um, I'm shocked, but not really, because his post-war efforts were with CN, and he was the one who rewrited cars, in other words, put them back on the tracks, and was a mechanic to the day he retired. I'm still, yeah, I'm still sh finding the words. On that note, may you guys have an amazing day, and we will talk to you soon. And for those of you who are on my other social medias, stay tuned. And if not, check out Sharflu23 on Twitter and Instagram. And... Stay tuned here for more details, updates, as we go along this process of remembrance.